My name is Jonathan Ware, and I'm a pianist from Dallas, Texas, originally. And uh, I'm focusing mostly now on accompanying uh, both song and chamber music. When I was five years old, my mom came in and to my room. I was playing, I don't know, with G.I. Joes or something. And she announced that we're having piano lessons. And it was just sort of like, OK, normal progression for my family because we did music all the time. So my mom played the piano. My dad played the piano. So of course, my brother and I were going to play the piano as well. I'm trying to th think of something that's actually funny, though, <laughs> and not just like <laughs> terrifying. Well, the terrifying one was when it, it, it was back when I was playing with my family. I was probably six or seven. I don't know how old I was. And I was playing for an offertory in church. And there was some sort of air conditioning vent above the piano. And so at this point, I, I was playing from music. And the pages just started blowing away. And so I kept, I kept playing, as, as you do. Um, and was kind of playing with one hand and trying to pick up the pages with the other. And I don't, I, I honestly have kind of blocked that story out. I don't remember how it ended. I probably stopped and had to sort of go and gather all the pages back. One of the reasons I love being an accompanist is because not only do I get to communicate with the audience, but there's also this communication that happens on the stage between performers. And so that becomes like a ping pong a tennis match on the stage, and um, and I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of joy in that sort of back and forth on the stage, and I think I think audiences can pick up on that that joy really quickly, and hopefully feel that as well. It's like architecture in a way that you can you can have a, a building that's a piece of art, but the fact that it's useful is also like an added bonus, and I feel like accompanying is. Is, is sometimes a similar thing, that it's, it's, it's obviously a, an art of the highest level, but, but you're also kind of helping and serving other people, and, and um, it feels good to be needed sometimes. <laughs> I thought about going into real estate for a while. <laughs> now, that was always my threat, was I'm going to do real estate. Because if I work at hard, as hard at real estate as I do at music, I'll make lots of money, and then I can go into music later. But I never did that. Uh, the, the housing market crashed. And, and I thought, all right, well, musicians are always going to be around. And we're always going to be um, doing it because we love it, not to get rich. So <laughs> one, more, one more time, and I'll imagine like a really lovely piano. Dear piano, I never thought we'd have a chance to have a conversation, but I just have to say thank you for all of the many, many, many hours we've spent together. I find that quite extraordinary that you can take the way I feel and somehow we convert that together into sound.